Yo, what's going on, guys? Uh, not a financial advisor. This is not a financial advice. Um, I think uh, Apex did extend that sale 80% off, so if you want to use a funded account, um, it's better than doing a demo, and it's, it's a little more serious. Uh, click the link in the description. Use code SAVE80. You save 80% off. All right. Um, I'm going to be going a little over, over a little review today, and I'm going to be using some uh, things from my Discord I kind of wrote. And by the way, I do open my... Uh, my Patreon's open for the next couple for the next week probably and then I'm gonna close it. Um so make sure to join that before I close it. I do live streams every single day. So um just I think they're very valuable. A lot of people say they're valuable. So um anyways I'm gonna somebody doing a little review in today. Okay. And today was interesting. So usually we get trend days on Fridays, but today was a Thursday. But here's the thing that, that made me say today's gonna be trend day, okay? And you can see right at um, right yesterday, yesterday at 9:29 p.m. Okay, I labeled this as buy side. Why did I have this as buy side? Because you can see what happens is we go really close hitting the high, and then we kind of come down a little bit. And if we ever go really close hitting a higher low, and then come back down, usually we go back up to it. So if you look at like the five minute, right? I had this labeled buy side because I noticed. I was like, okay, we came really close, didn't hit it. Came really close, didn't hit it. Came close again, didn't hit it. So this morning. I was like, okay, they're definitely engineering a lot of liquidity. They engineered equal highs up there. And this is really the, the one thing you should have noticed going into the day. If you were bearish and you didn't see these equal highs, um, you just got to pay attention to these more. And the reason why I put so much weight on these is because these are kind of far away. So there's less of a chance that these equal highs are going to be here on purpose. Okay. So um, just they're really good equal highs because they're so far away. Okay. And I said this is buy side. Obviously, that's at 9.29 p.m., so I'm not looking for a long right here. I'm just, I have it labeled just in case you don't hit it for the next morning. Wake up, and I see, okay, bruh, one point away. Okay, do I delete it? Nope, I still have it labeled as buy side. Okay, and I also say, because we now have equal highs, I can't short. It's against my rules, so I'm going to chill unless we get along. So I was kind of chilling for a bit. We got some decent price action, not the greatest. We got a nice Judas swing at open, right? This is the 9.30 candle Judas swing. Engineer a bit of liquidity, and then boom, what do you notice? First thing you want to notice is we violate this bear, bullish PD array, or bearish PD array, array, and we violate it in the 15 minute. So it's a little better in the 15 minute, right? The 15 is going to trump the five. So we create an inverse for everybody up in the 15 minute, right? Here's the long, but it's kind of a big zone, right? And we know that. So what I teach is I say, do not long this, but what you want to do is go to the one minute and then you want to look for the second long. So you can see when we get in here, where's the second long? It's right here. See how we create like a fair value gap within a fair value gap, and at the same time, we also violate this bearish PD array right here. You can see it lines up perfectly. So we violate this bearish PD array, we get the second long set up here, and again, this is the confirmation setup. So I learned that, um, and I also said, I was like, low resistance liquidity, would not be looking for shorts here. We kept forming a lot of liquidity on NQ, even if you look at like NQ this morning. Um, we created really nice fair value gap in the one minute I think it opened. It was right here. And this is something I was like, yeah, I'm not taking this short. Don't really like it short. Uh, but you can see we held it twice. And if you look closely, okay, what do you notice about this candle, this body? We literally closed to it uh, to the tick. Okay, we did not close under it ever, but we closed to the tick. And then we got the confirmation set up off of that. Okay, we got the confirmation off of that, which is nice. But this morning, right, we kind of were forming low resistance liquidity, right? You can see this is an algorithmic trend line. So I was like, yeah, I wouldn't really be looking for shorts. Yes, we're stopping a little bit, but an NQ is just, we violated this. I wasn't really interested in shorts. Okay, and I, I said that. I said low resistance liquidity ran, still waiting, red folder news at 12. Um, or I meant to say 10, but. And then we form more, more low resistance liquidity. See this more low resistance liquidity right here? See how perfect this is? And then we break that. Okay, and I kind of learned that on stream. Okay, and at this time I was like, I was just chilling because I knew NFP was tomorrow, and I was like, yeah, this price action is great. I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait, right? And I was waiting, and then finally we got this five-minute fair value gap, and I was like, okay, we got some nice displacement over this high here, right? So I was kind of interested in the long at this point, right? If you look at the five-minute, this is um, nice. See how this is a really good market structure shift right here. Right, if you uh, look at this candle right here, these are equal highs, but it's still a market structure shift. Um, here's a market structure shift over this high, and then boom, we get a nice fair value gap. And um, 
I said, here's an inverse for VI gap on normally long, but I'm going to wait for confirmation set up off it because NFP tomorrow, so expecting sloppy conditions. And then, fine, and at the same time, I sell the equal highs marked as a draw. You can see, um, finally hit them, and we got the setup, right? And that alerted in stream. And then, this, I said, this is 1116. I said, I am bullish the rest of the day. Okay, why did I say I was bullish the rest of the day? It's because if you ever see untapped buy side above, where this is obvious untapped buy side because we have equal highs, and look at this, this tells me right here. See this four hour order block? We form this four hour order block, four hour order block. The second we start to trade above that, this line right here, this tells me what? This tells me now this is an order block. We should keep expanding upwards. So as soon as I saw that, I'm like, okay, this is bullish the rest of the day. We should hold this order block and not trade back below it. And we know we have buy set above and we know we're bouncing off this very value gap. Okay, those three things, just a lot of confluence um, and you know, this is something definitely, this is a gem. What I just said is a gem, okay? If you ever see a order block form a lot of time like this, expect expansion. And this is the four hour. So I know the five minutes gonna keep in a bull, I know if this is the four hour, then I know the five minute, which is the lower time frame, should keep trending up because I know the four hour candle should close green. Okay, and I said, who's still holding? Told you we'd say bullish. And then obviously we went, we literally went up like 10 more points after this. Very close hitting the high, but we didn't hit it, so I'm suspecting we're still gonna hit it. Okay, this is not a fair value gap. I'd short. Okay, I'd, I'm not short this because I know we still want top buy set above, right? So again, still want this. Um, we should get it tomorrow, I'm guessing. Hopefully, NFP can wake up there or something. But um, yeah, that's just a little review of today. Um, once we hit this, I'm gonna start looking, swinging some shorts. But obviously, I want to see like how much we displace over this. That's gonna really depend. So. I'm going to react to live time when we see this. But, um, yeah, that's a little review of today. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'm going to be closing my Patreon again in like a, in a week, so make sure to join that. Can I live stream every day, post live streams on YouTube every day. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, other than that, peace out.